Hey everybody, we are in Arizona. We're at the largest RV show in the entire United States. We're with a group of people who own Views and Navions, which are made by Winnebago. We have a very special group of people here. And they are single female, I was gonna say women travelers, but that would be redundant. Single female travelers. And starting on this yes. side, just tell us your name and where you're from. Jess, um, I live full time in my RV. Okay. So. I'm Barb, I'm from Wisconsin, but live full time. I'm Kathy, I'm from South Carolina. And I'm Jenny, I'm from Virginia. Jenny from Virginia, that is so cool. And we've got another male Sedona. or female? Sedona. Female? Female. Okay, so she, she just had her birthday. She fits the category. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll start with you, Jenny. Um, tell us your situation as far as why you are a female solo traveler. My husband doesn't travel, doesn't want to, and I decided that I wanted to go out and see our beautiful country. And I've been out here for, you know, I travel, I've traveled the last 12 years in my RV. Amazing. Um, Barb, go a little bit louder volume because we got wind to compete with. I mean, you're Barb. Um, Kathy with a K. Hi, I'm Kathy. I travel alone. My husband passed away last February, and we plan to use our motorhome after we bought it, and unfortunately, we're unable to. And once he passed, I decided, darn it, I'm going to use it. I'm going to go out and explore the western United States, all, actually all of the United States, because I've never been out here. Okay, and you said that uh, you bought it, and then you found out he was ill, mm -hmm. and it stayed stored for three years? Three years in storage. And then he passed, and you said... Yes. Let's rock. That's right. Okay. Barb, similar. Well, hey, but you were going to RV prior to his death. Yes. We had, had it early. We had it a few months earlier and we're packing it to leave to the house. It was actually in front of our home. And we get a call from the doctor that we had to wait because he had some interesting blood work. So oh, we yeah. put it back in storage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Barb, your story is. All right. Um, I never went RV in at all. Uh, my husband passed away in 2017. I took care of him for five years, and I ended up getting lung cancer 2019. Fortunately, I'm here. And I decided, hey, there's more to life. I'm 77 years old, but I want to get out and see the world before my time is up. Yep. You're the youngin'. Uh, well, the company I work for went fully remote during the pandemic, so like a lot of people, that was a chance to full-time while I'm still working. So I work full-time remotely. Okay, and you're getting solar? Yeah, I'm installed. putting in the solar sort of with some help here. Yeah. Okay, rather than long answers on this, I'll give you some, the lightning round in the, in the game shows. Um, happy you've done it? Oh, absolutely. No question. Definitely. Yes, I am. Definitely. Definitely. Not, not going back. Not going back. Okay. So, uh, next short question. I'll have to think of it. Uh, encourage others to do the same or consider doing the same? Absolutely. 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 Okay. I would definitely encourage people to try it, women to try it, and don't go around once. Definitely. Um, the every, theme. The everybody theme here. said that, you know, Barbara, I can't believe you're doing it, and they wish that they could, and they, they can if they want to. What was the response to. Uh, people that you know family or friends that when you said I'm going yeah family parents my parents are still alive so they were definitely confused and worried but I think they saw the reaction to them telling their friends this was so positive like now they get it they didn't make you seek therapy or anything like <laughs> no. No. no but all of my friends there's a lot of people in their 30s and 40s I'm in my 40s that are doing this now so because rent prices are so high a lot of people are doing it for that reason in vans and RVs definitely. so it's um yeah, very not, no no negative feedback, really. Whatsoever. Now, Virginia, back to uh, Jenny, sorry. Um, the safety, do you, do you get a feeling of safety and security in this a group like this? Oh, yes, I do. I mean, I've traveled a lot by myself. I mean, the, the sense of security I've gotten and knowing that if something goes wrong with my rig, there are a lot, there are guys here, women too, to help. Yeah. That's great. It's, yeah. it's been wonderful. Yeah. Because 
primarily it was a scenario where the men drove and the women knitted or something like that, you know, the, the old stereotype. But that's not the case anymore. And, you know, if your example of, you know, I'm doing this thing, yeah. you know, come hell or high water. And, yes. and um, w- wouldn't, don't, you probably don't feel brave, but I'll tell you, I admire your um, decision to do this. And I'm sure that every day, as here I answer a question. I answered your question, but but don't you feel that this this group is just? They're marvelous. I tell you, uh, I hurt my knee before I got to the crawl. I signed up and went and Jane met them in Tallahassee. Started with them, and my knee was already in trouble before I even got to Tallahassee. So when I got to Texas, I decided, and I was very mothered by all the families, the husband wives teams, and the, and the single women and. By the time I got to Texas, I decided I better see a hospital person about it. So they gave me a shot of cortisone, and I'm going to go back and see my family doctor. But one of the couples, the wife said, you can't drive the day you get your shot. I'm going to drive your rig, and my husband will follow us. And we got went out that day. She picked me up at the hospital after I got my shot. She got my rig, and I got to ride that day. Which one was she? Uh, Virginia Wiley. No, Gail. Gail. And her husband, Richard. Richard. Richard Wiley and Gail. Okay, I remember talking to them back here. Right. Yeah, she's, they've become good friends of mine from North Carolina. Okay, okay. But and, I never knew them before. But now they're good friends. Yes. Now they're good friends. And, and the thing I found, Barb, is that, um, and it's your first time as well? First time to the rally? To the rally. Yes. Um, it seems like there are people that are meeting lifetime friends here. Mm-hmm. Um, not just because they have views and Navions, but their backgrounds are so diverse, which gives them some degree of continuity. Mm-hmm. Um, so, final words. Oh yeah, if you want to do it, do it. Go for it. You're never too. You're never old. too old. Never too old. If you can wake up, you're never too old. Right. Go Virginia. for it. Wake up and go. Yes, Absolutely. Santa Claus. There is a oh Virginia. My. You're waiting. Okay. I love it. I love this lifestyle. Okay. And maybe she wants to uh, <laughs> get the, will she talk on command? No. no. Bull terriers don't bark okay. that much. Direct from Quartzsite, it's John DePietro saying, let's go RVing.